Good morning, guys. Here's another nice piece of news. Uh, Franklin Templeton has put its U.S. government money fund on the Stellar blockchain. Uh, I talk to people all the time, and sometimes crypto comes up, right? And there are people my age, uh, sometimes older. Every now and then, there's some younger ones, too, where they're, they're, they don't understand what any of this is. They don't get it. They just think it's BS. It's going to come and go. They, all, they think it's all Bitcoin, right? Well, <laughs> Stellar is not Bitcoin. And Franklin Templeton thought enough of it to throw their fund on there. And you have to understand, when that happens, there's a lot of regulators that signed off on it. It's got to go on the prospectus. Um, it's got to be able to transact value. It's going to record ownership, your ownership of uh, that piece of the fund, that whole kind of thing. The whole thing's got to be there because it's, they have a fiduciary responsibility. Uh, let's read a little more about this. Okay, I need the readers for this, guys, because, uh, you know, I'm a little bit older now. I can't see quite, quite so well. <laughs> So it says it's the first U.S. registered mutual fund to process transactions and record share ownership on the Stellar blockchain, right? So this is over in San Mateo, California. And uh, Franklin Templeton today announced uh, the Franklin on-chain U.S. government money fund, whatever the call sign there is for that, um, the ticker symbol, excuse me, uh, has surpassed $270 million in assets under management. Uh, as of March 31, 2021, the fund's transfer agent maintains the uh, official record of share ownership via uh, a proprietary blockchain integrated system that currently utilizes the Stellar Blockchain Network for transaction activity. That's a big deal. Go check out that article, guys. It's uh, You're going to see much more of this on many different chains because it's going to be interoperable, right? It can't be one chain for everybody. One government might like one thing. A certain industry might prefer this other blockchain because it suits their needs a little bit more. It's going to be built to suit, sort of, right? And each blockchain is going to have its proprietary uh, software that um, or system, right? Uh, whether it's consensus, um, you know, Algo and XRP have different consensus mechanisms. Uh,